guys, according to Mark Stein, the Mavericks intend to waive JaVale McGee, and the Lakers should consider signing him if he ends up getting released. Now, the question remains, is a reunion with JaVale McGee good for the Lakers? You know, you have to consider the fact that you would have to move Anthony Davis to power forward, a position that you know he doesn't like to play. And you look at JaV JaVale McGee in the past years, there are many red flags with McGee. The Mavericks gave up money and time to give McGee a three-year contract. And in only one of those three years, he has only played for he only played 42 games missing missing out on injuries and out of those 42 games on average he only played about eight minutes a game meaning he was only playing garbage time minutes and on top of that Jason Kidd the former assistant coach of the Lakers who is currently the head coach of the Mavericks if anyone knew how to play JaVel McGee is Jason Kidd that is a huge red flag though it may sound great to sign McGee pair him alongside Anthony Davis I just don't know if he's that guy we saw in 2020 and maybe I'm wrong but you just have to consider these things and you know he could be that guy that we saw in 2020. Maybe Darvaham gets him to return to his old self and he contributes well for the Lakers. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.